There are many different types of unicorns. There are unicorns connected with the galactic kingdoms, those that help to remind us of our star seed heritage or star heritage. There are unicorns connected with the angelic kingdoms, those between the seventh and ninth dimensional frequency. And then there's unicorns connected with the earth, those who are linked with the nature spirits, the elementals, and our ancient fairy cousins, the she. And the she reside in Middle Earth, and we can connect with these ancient ancestors through the unicorns. Because remember that the unicorns can bridge all realms, which means they help us to bridge all realms within us. So we can understand that we are multi-dimensional, multi-universal beings, not just here living this one life, but in truth living multiple existences, multiple realities in always the present moment. There are unicorns that are connected to the ancient civilizations of Atlantis and Lemuria. And it's often thought that these civilizations exist in the past, but actually they're still evolving through us. And we can tap into the consciousness of these times through working with the unicorns. This is the seventh golden age that Mother Earth has bear witness to. And in every golden age, the unicorns return to help us to remember that we are creator incarnate far more than what we just see physically. And in the times of Lemuria and Atlantis, the unicorns were physically in form, just as we are, because the vibration was much higher and much faster. And the unicorns are here to truly help us to get back to those levels and so I really feel in years to come that we won't just feel unicorns through our energy, through our sense of awareness, but we'll actually see them as well, just like we did in Lemuria and Atlantis. When I started to work with the unicorns, I was met by two guides. One, Hethgar, a huge big Celtic unicorn, and the other, a unicorn who didn't give her name to begin with. As I got to know her, I've affectionately called her Princess because this really reflects her royal yet mischievous nature. And when I sat down to speak to Princess more to really understand where the unicorns come from, she shared with me that there are royal lineages of unicorns. And she shared with me who the queen of the unicorns is, Amaya. Now Amaya is a consciousness that you can connect with. Amaya holds all the keys to all the magical kingdoms and when you work with her you really begin to experience magic in your life.